audience, this is Anupam, and uh, I'm on the middle of uh, the route to from Delhi to <coughs> Rishikesh is where I'm heading to. Uh, it's uh, 22nd uh, March 2019, early morning. It's uh, 7 o'clock, 7, yes, 6.55 in fact. And I've already covered around 150 kilometers. Started early, uh, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, yes, and uh, right now I've stopped over at a dhaba. It's called Alaknanda Resort, as you can see in the background. Alaknanda Resort, that's where I've stopped over for breakfast. And uh, then I'm heading uh, from here. Straight to Rishikesh. Uh, the purpose of this trip is that uh, I'm uh, going along with uh, Hoti, uh, my uh, little pooch uh, who I lost uh, around 15 days back, uh, old age, and uh, I'm taking him uh, with me uh, to finally set him free in the Ganges, in the Holy Ganges so that he can travel all over India and uh, uh, finally decide in the shape form he wants to come back into my life again or he wants to serve God and get his what they call in English salvation and then the moksha. If you were to ask me honestly which is the best part of a good trip especially riding, uh, bike riding uh, for me it's this and bike while riding you've heard of top boxes and all that jazz right right wrong now here's how I go about it guys this is my setup on a road trip all those people who talk of panniers and top boxes and all that jazz is out of bullshit rubbish top boxes never fit enough clothes uh, with panniers and uh, side uh, folks and handles etc uh, many times if they get loose they hit on the exhaust and uh, burns the uh, side uh, saddle bags so they're never good enough so what I do is, is I keep it really simple uh, five to six bungee cords they keep the the luggage uh, nice and steady uh, okay on my bike and then I use a traditional lock here believe me uh, 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 so that the luggage is, you know, while I'm traveling, it's nice and safe. Even when I'm uh, getting down at a dhaba or whatever, I don't have to worry about its security. Okay. And the luggage goes, of course, with the bike. And uh, that's it. I mean, it's very basic. And besides, you see here, it gives you a nice backrest as well. That's the other thing. And uh, this is a typical uh, suitcase which I carry otherwise on flights as well. And that's it. I just load it on top of my bike. Nothing else. And then here what you have is a pan, uh, is my uh, tank bag. Um, where, you know, this is magnetic so it sticks. And these are pro bike uh, uh, gloves. I use a LS2 helmet. And I use a PGS suit. Yeah, hi guys, so uh, I've reached Haridwar, uh, this is Haridwar, uh, as you can see, it's beautiful, you can see the blue waters of the Ganges, the holy Ganges, and uh, Rishikesh is only 25 kilometers up north, enjoy. Yes, hi guys, uh, we are in Rishikesh. Yes, I'm in Rishikesh, uh, finally. And it's uh, 11 a.m. Uh, 
our 22nd of March. Enjoy the Holy Ganges. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's 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 a sight to see. It's a must spot. This is what I'm here for. Enjoy. I visited a tavola at Conte. Uh, it's a fine uh, pizza, Italian restaurant. Uh, great food. Uh, exceptional crowd. Mm, great ambience. Great value for money. Next morning I was at Flavors for breakfast. They have amazing pancakes and the best cold coffee in the world, really to die for. Go try them. This is VJ's, uh, great place. Uh, I tried for lunch, uh, another pizza joint. Uh, Afternoons they don't serve pizzas though, so I had their uh, vegetarian pasta and an amazing coffee. Amazing coffee. Must try. This is the view from my hotel. And now I'm back at the Ganges. Every 5 in the evening to around 7.30 uh, when in Rishikesh. If you're not uh, on the banks of the uh, Holy Ganges, and just, uh, you know, I mean, it's therapeutic. It's a beautiful experience. If you're not doing this, then I don't know what you're there when you should cash for. So this is what I did every 5 to 7.30. Every day. Enjoy the music of the Holy Ganges. Just the music of the water, uh, the live water. It's alive. It's beautiful. It's therapeutic. Enjoy. This is a fine dining restaurant called Jal and Jalebi at Ganga Ke Kinare Hotel. It's a fine hotel. Uh, do try it. Uh, in the evenings, it's great. So I hit Madhva's Cafe for uh, for breakfast uh, the next morning. Uh, they serve uh, very good South Indian uh, food and a decent uh, cold coffee. Not the best, but decent. And then, as you can see, uh, my entry uh, is not done. Some, uh, some time, uh, so I visited Lucky Motors of Corify and got the repairs done. And after that, I uh, dropped it. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. And hardly possible now, 7 750 rupees uh, with the clinic and all the work that they did on the path they did etc. It's a great job by the way. It's got a by Lucky Motors. They specialize in Royal Air. I was 
back at La Tabola for uh, lunch and it was nice, uh, tried their vegetarian pizza, really nice. In the evening, I was back again at the Holy Candice, like I told you, 5 to 7.30, Red and Rishikesh. If you're not by the Holy Candice, soaking in all that the beautiful nature has to offer, all that therapy, I don't know what you're there when Rishikesh that's what I did every 5 to 7.30 enjoying nature and everything that it has to offer by the Holy Ganges My dinner was back at BJ's, so you can see great pizza, amazing coffee and even a better view. They have the most fantastic view in the evenings and at night. This is the Lakshman Yola as you can see from the Vaishnava itself from BJ's. It's a must visit. BJ's is a great place. I mean what a fantastic view. Brilliant, brilliant. It's a must visit. Do come here when in Mishikesh. Now I'm off to uh, off riding to at the Lakshman Yola. Yeah, that this is where I am. This is the Lakshman Yola. Uh, I took my bullet across. Beautiful, and it's one a hell of a riding experience. Uh, when riding in Vishikesh, uh, ensure that you do ride on the Lakshman Yola. Bye. <laughs>